Yeah. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well into the um, the Sinsiak, yeah? All right, around the four corners of the earth, peace and blessings go unto you and your household. All right, um, sincerely, all right. And I think if it <laughs> that men who and I the men who follow. They used to say that in the videos, but it wasn't sincere. You had to be sincere in everything you're saying in the street. Be sincere. Alright? Be sincere about it. Alright? And um yeah, this year is Ama One. From the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. Coming back to do another lesson to the Holy Spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahasham Yahushai. And um <clears throat> going into basically some topics, prophecies, and that you know, one of these Christians, some of, hey, no, these Christians, they don't have all right, they don't have the full thing, they don't have the full understanding of the wisdom of the Heavenly Father, they don't have it. They're just scratching the surface when it comes to the scriptures. So Right now, alright, this is the year 2021. Yeah, he's known unto the coming of Yahweh Bashami or Shai. Alright. And hey, that's what we do and we want the Lord to return. And pray to the Heavenly Father that you don't lose sight of these things. Alright, take heed to yourselves, Yahweh Shai told us that. Alright, because as we see daily prophecies happening. And we gain every day. One step closer and closer to the RFID microchip being, all right, the mark at, which is the mark that is being made mandatory because that that is that day is coming, all right. For those who don't want to believe it, but that day is coming when Esau will literally try to. This man murder, this a mad man. You see, you have to know your enemies. And I think with plenty of people, plenty of people don't know their enemies. Know your enemies. Know those who don't like you. That way you could see them. You could know the plans. That's why the Apostle Paul said we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. Because he knew him. We know about you. He knew Satan. He said, <laughs> let's, let, what the fuck, let me start with our preacher. This is book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. All right, it says, Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Right, we know about his, his devices, we know who Satan is, we know what he's about, we know what he's capable of, we know how far he would reach to, to, to make his, um, his, his, his way be established, so to speak. He reached even as far as tempting our Lord. He don't play. <laughs> Alright? So we ain't ignorant of him. We know what he's coming with. So we gotta be sharp. We gotta be on point. Alright? And again, I'll speak to myself first. You gotta know what you're talking about. You gotta know what you're into. You gotta know these things. Because as, you, as I say, prophecies, as we say, the prophecy is happening every day, every minute, every second, all right? These prophecies coming to pass, these prophecies popping up, don't get, don't get sluggard and, and tell yourself, hey, nothing is going to happen and study your goals and your desires. Your desires could wait for the kingdom of heaven because the kingdom of heaven, which is what we just be fighting for, coming. Our Lord, Yahweh Shai coming, chariots in the skies. This, these things happening more rapid. These things happening faster than ever. These things coming to pass. And you had to be a prophet of the Lord. Alright? Because that's what we are about. We are about prophecy. Because, as I say, I talked about these Christians last night. On work. I engaged a Christian. Which, this is a youth man. I... Dealing, I dealing with this youth man from since he know me and I know him from since that is my customer from since like uh, since I start the job um, um, we're talking about 10 years 
I go, so I see him grow, I see him, I, see him, I saw him start a family, I, you know, he have a son now, and he's come with his son and his wife, you know, and I see him start a family, I see him grow, and I see, you know, I know, right now, as it has always be around your lifetime, he's about 24 years, right now, like, he gained some kind of inkling to search for what is life's purpose like life's purpose and he's going into the scripture so he lock off church and thing but he still have the christian doctrine and he he have uh, he have the christian um mentality where god loves everybody despite how much i show him in the scriptures that the Heavenly Father does not like everybody, doesn't love everybody. I told him, I said, you are an Israelite son, do, do stop studying who God loves and, and, and why he don't accept them. Alright? The Heavenly Father does not accept every human being. That is not the gospel. That is not the good news. The good news is that Israelites will be saved from their enemies. That is the good news. And by preaching that, that could save you. Alright? That, preaching that and teaching that, that could save you. The Israelites who have been downtrodden, the Israelites who have been persecuted every single day. Alright? The Israelites... The good news is that the Lord coming back to deliver them. The Lord coming back to 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 um, what's that fact? You know what? I've got a precept here in the book of Psalms, right? Psalms 25 and the last verse. It says, Redeem Israel, O power, out of all his troubles. Straight up. Redeem Israel because Israel is on that tr Israel on that trouble. We cannot change the narrative of the story. The story in the scriptures is that Israel is the Lord's chosen people. And despite how Esau tried to flip it, Israel is the Lord's chosen people. Okay? Israel is the Heavenly Father's chosen people. We cannot try to flip that and make that into something else the Lord's chosen people is the Israelites alright we, we, we see the narrative of the story and we come into the New Testament and we see Yahweh Shai's death and then from Yahweh Shai's death we see a, a, a prophet was raised up First being Peter, then a prophet called the Apostle Paul was raised up to go and teach the word to the Gentiles. And we see that and we tend because of Paul's teachings and the devil who had power the scriptures before we get the un before we receive back the understanding, he was in control of the scriptures. Right now he's not in control of the scriptures anymore. He saw when <laughs> When we was in slavery, took our book and misused our book. Alright? Let that sink in your head. He's not in control of the scriptures anymore. We reclaimed our book. And we bring out the true teachings of the book. But it's because for so much a centuries of misinformation from the scriptures, people tend to believe that is the doctrine. That is not the doctrine. That is not the gospel. The gospel was always salvation for us. He saw not control. He saw is not in control of that book anymore. And now we took over our book. And we started teaching the book the correct way. We we breaking it down the right way. This is our book. Alright, scripture says that in the book of Malachi chapter three and verse sixteen it says then they that feared Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai spake of them one to another, 
and Yahawabah Shamiah was shy hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and that taught upon his name. You see, a book of remembrance, which is this book, which is this book. This, this is the book of remembrance. This is the book that brings all things to, we, to our memory. Who we was. The identity, who's the enemy, what we have coming, who is our Lord, what he name was, what he did first. This is our book. He so tried to apply this to himself. He cannot live up to it. And they butchered it. He thought out of it that everybody could be saved. All right? <laughs> and that was a lie. It was a lie. It was a straight up lie. And now, and now, and now, all right, now we, we, we reach here at this point, when we in the end of this thing, we in the end of this thing, this is how the Heavenly Father would have it set up, all right, he would have it set up like this, to magnify his name, all right, his name, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, okay, we in the end of this thing, and we teach you in the scriptures, the right way. And people get you know, offended. Hey, but hey, don't be ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord as of right now. In my life, I could say that. Now the Lord will test me on that, but hey. I believe that. I sincerely believe right now in my life. Teach Yahweh Shai to anybody, right? Because. Yeah, even Lord, all right? Tell men who was ashamed and they fell out the truth. Yeah, we are ashamed. And you know, we're kind of all over the place, but as I was saying, I speak, <coughs> I was talking to this DJ, and me and he had a lengthy conversation yesterday on um, the scriptures, and two, about two hours we speak for. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because. <laughs> He, he wanted he want to see somehow the other salvation. So he, he studying the scriptures a little bit. He keep reading and he come back and he, he want to know. Because he trying to find out the purpose of life. I pray the Heavenly Father open his eyes. Because he looks sincere. But it's just not happening. Salvation cannot be for everybody salvation cannot be for everybody you know why let me read Isaiah the 53rd chapter now we hang everything on your Havashai because it is factual it's a like man <laughs> but let me see he was prophesied to come right matter of fact let me give it let me give it to chapter 18 and verse 15 right was prophesied to come, right? Hey, even the Lord is required to be perfect. Be perfect as the Lord, as your Father in heaven is. Jeremiah 18 and 13, thou shalt be perfect with Yahweh Basham, your shy thy power. For these nations which thou shalt possess hearken unto observers of times and unto diviners, but as for thee, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai thy power hath not suffered thee so to do. Verse 15. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai thy power will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee of thy brethren like unto me. Him he shall, unto him he shall hearken. Right? And like it says it here again, in verse 18, it says, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee. And I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. Alright? That prophet, that prophet, who is our prophet? That is the Lord. 
and let me get into the context right it says i will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren yeah i from the tribe of judah right like unto thee like unto moses let me deal with what moses what was moses role moses role in the story in the scriptures was not to deliver every human being Moses' role, Moses was born, all right, of his father. I can't remember his father's name right now. Let me get his father. Let me get his father's name. It's slipping my mind. Right on the tip of my tongue, but I just seem to forget. I don't know why. Or maybe his father's name was me. Let me see if I could get any, um, you Ram Ram Daisy name Ram Ram right so let me go back we type up Ram Ram right Right, we can write the Exodus 6. Right, so Moses' father was Amram of the tribe of Levi, right? This is how and Joshua bed, Moses' mother. Right? And because Moses <laughs> because Moses because the Egypt because the Egyptians you go into the storyline, eh? Because of the Egyptians, and what you have to remember is that Yahawashai, our Lord, was prophesied to be a prophet like unto Moses. Because Moses and the Egyptians didn't know that um, the Lord was making about to make a return because he gave a time period at that time. And it was Junai time period, he started to kill out the firstborn male. Alright, he was hunting them out. To, to send them to kill them and Moses' mother took him and hid him you know the story right and Moses eventually Pharaoh's daughter took Moses in and Moses grew up underneath Pharaoh's nose as a as a um, as a son to Pharaoh but Moses always knew he was a Hebrew and when the time was come the Lord called him all right he got called out Ecclesia a church beginning he got called out and he got called out and he went into the um he went first he killed a, a, J, a egyptian for killing a jake and he had to flee and in, in fleeing he met um uh, his father in law the priest of Midian. i can't remember he knew i know right jethro right and jethro get got jethro's daughter and he greeted jethro's daughter and then he saw a flame in the burning bush and the lord tell him he basically chose him to deliver his people israel from out at the hands of the egyptians right because the egyptians if you read the story was afflicting the people of the lord and through that Moses did one rush works. Ten plagues the Heavenly Father sent upon them. If I'm mistaken here. Ten plagues. They received. And within, within them plagues, the last one, a feast came out of it, which is the Passover, which when the destroyer, which was our Lord, 
fast over the years, July saw was because they had the blood on the, on the lentils and the doorposts, and he was eating lamb, unleavened bread, bitter herbs, right? And he smite all the firstborn in Egypt from every single thing. He smote, he smote all the firstborn in Egypt, everything. Firstborn in everything. Let me, let me see that. See? <coughs> Exodus 12 and 12. It says, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So you see, he smite every, even these gods, everything died. The Israelites and their children lived. Because we was passed over, a feast came out of it. Then Moses delivered the people across the Gulf of Suez, which is connected to the Red Sea. There where the scripture says the Red Sea. And we, we received the commandments. Alright, the Ark of the Covenant, we went in the wilderness for 40, 40 years. And out of that batch, Joshua and who was young, became old, and they led us into the promised land. We killed all the, the um, Amorites, the Hittites, we destroyed them, took the land, we lived there. Israel. The story was Moses was to deliver the Israelites from the hands of the Egyptians. Right? Their enemies at the time who had them in oppression, right? Yahawashai is promised. Yahawashai is promised to be a prophet like unto Moses. And it says unto him we go had to listen to. Just as Moses took the Israelites out of Egypt, Yahawashai come to deliver us from the hands of all that hate us. Look, it says it here in the book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 68. You see, when you go into the context of the scriptures, there is no way you could say the Lord come to deliver every single human being. If not possible. Luke 1 and 68 says, Blessed be the Lord power of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people and had raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, and we just went into a prophecy. Alright? We just went into one prophecy that the Lord coming back there is of the Lord. The Lord sending a prophet like unto Moses to deliver the children of Israel. The same thing Moses did. That we should be saved from our enemies. And from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore unto our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. See? And thou, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest. You see that, the prophet. But thou shalt go before the face of the Lord. Oh, no, that was John. That was John. <laughs> Salah. I thought that was the Lord. John was a prophet. All right. John the Baptist. For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. See? So you hold up right here. So, let me go in the Isaiah 53 now. This is Isaiah 53. It says, Who had believed our report, and to whom is the arm of Yahweh Ba'asham shall reveal? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form, nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He didn't come here as no king. He came home and meek. 
that we load by that he's despised and rejected of men. Who does speaking you know? this, this is the one who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and, I, and we esteemed him not. Surely he had borne our griefs, he bared, and carried our sorrows, because through him sorrow going and passed. He bore a beard when he went on that cross by. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of the most and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Our, for we transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. For we iniquities, the Israelites. When you read the scriptures in this context, you will see the Lord came for us. Have faith in Him. Now, for a man to be delivered, we don't even know. Fighting hand and foot. The kingdom of heaven is for we. The prophecies are the RFID microchip. The Lord hastening that because His people in slavery and He wants to get them out. And the Lord go and make this thing be the, be come to pass and into fruition. Fruition. So that fruition, meaning fruit, will bear from it. The fruit is the end of this world. That is coming. It says the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed. He was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. Yet I be before Pontius Pilate and Herod and them. He didn't say a word. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before his shearers is dumb, so opened he not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. See? For the transgression of my people was he stricken straight up. And he, was, and he made his grave with the wicked with the rich is in his death because he had done no violence neither was any deceit in his mouth come to speak the truth yet it pleased Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai to bruise him he had put him to grief when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin he shall see his seed he shall prolong his days and the pleasure of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai shall prosper in his hand he shall see the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall, me, shall my righteous servant justify many. For he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great. He shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he had poured out his soul unto death. And he was numbered with the transgressors, and bare the sin of many. And made intercession for the transgressors. Wow, tears want to come to man again. The Lord come for we. When he come back, come back for we. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, and verse 7. He says, I read from 6, it says, And had made us kings and priests unto the Most High and His Father. To Him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Tawab, behold, He cometh with clouds, <coughs> and every eye shall see Him, and they also which pierced Him. 
And all kindreds of the earth shall wail. Because of him even so. To what? See that? All the kindreds of the earth go and wail when they see the Lord. And when he come back there, that is to deliver us. That is to deliver us. This is the end of the so-called white man's reign. Now is our time to reign. Our time to rule this earth. In the right way. You saw how that time you rule it in a corrupt, despicable way. In a deceitful, evil way. In a negative, bad way. Time for the earth to be ruled in the correct way. The Israelites could do that. So, you who trying to fight for the heathen to be delivered, the only heathen that going to be delivered is heathen Israelites. And oh yes, Israelites, Israelites could be heathen. There was a point in time when Israelites were heathen. You have a lot of Israelites who is heathen right now. The Israelites who so called claim they need the truth and they is fucking heathen. Because they, they, they really want to be a heathen. You keep in a fashion show on the Passover that you are heathen would fucking do to disrespect your house, shy. Or they heathen. Going in a strip club in the, on, the, on, the, on your Passover. That is what a heathen would do. There are no justification of these things, right? And the Lord coming back to destroy false prophets, false teachers, false leaders. The spreading of false messages will be destroyed by the hands of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Alright? So the thing is, what we have to do is get the, get the scriptures in context. Go along with what the text that the scripture says and then you shall see for yourself. Look. <laughs> if, I, if I could say this real quick. That uh, a little Jake too. And we came in. We, uh, we dealing with him. He come in in our establishment, in our shop. Um, since... Um, you see little boy since he's about five years. Now he's about no no since he's about eight years. Now he could be about twenty going on twenty one years. And he was always <coughs> into being serious and a man of God and was always thing. And now he reached the age where he stand to find out about girls. He was never into girls that much. Because you know the Christian way. So he went and he got his theology seminary degree. And we, we, but before he gave, we, we, we constantly, we constantly went back and forth in the scriptures. And you know when he say he go and be no, he ain't go and be no normal preacher again. He go and be a counselor for marriages. You know why? He don't realize that mm -mm, I go and lost. Anytime I that because the doctrine hit him so hard and he see what we say. Because it's years. When he was all 18, 19 years, 17 years, we going back and forth. Right through. See, I can't deny this word by the power in this word. That's what the scripture says. The kingdom of heaven is not. Matter of fact, you know what I'm going get? The book of. Um, First Corinthians, First Corinthians, chapter four, and verse nineteen it says, "But I will come to you shortly, if the Lord will, and will not know, and will know not the speech of them which are puffed up at the power." For the kingdom of Moses is not in word, but in power. Yeah, you could have words. But the force behind your words, if it's in, if it's in 
have you if it ain't making your mind think if it ain't powerful and you're just speaking words these words that the kingdom of heaven the words of the kingdom have weight in it it's weighty it's weigh on your mind either to make you change your life or just be a bigger scoffer so <laughs> look last night when i was speaking to the jake the jake the Jake was literally trim because he get cut so much he couldn't leave and his whole praise is there how about Shami and Shai he could not leave he did he stood up he studied he scratched his head he watch he watch he studied he keep asking over and over and say bye Are you studying my design shall I that he had again he started he started tremble i literally look at his hand pulling his phone to read the bible and trembling you know why your, your foundation being broken down and that is where the scripture says to break down strongholds that is what the gospel is about he saw a note if we just breaking down jake foundation so that he saw okay even he saw foundation crush and if the foundation crush the house can't stand this is the book of second corinthians chapter 10 and 3 it says for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Mosai and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of the Haushaya Mashiach. See? Every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Mosai will be brought down low. And bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of your house, Shia Mashiach. Just like you're getting licks into obeying because you're rebellious. <coughs> licks in your tail. Obey. Obey the Lord. <laughs> you sure don't know what coming to him. This world, this world finish. This world finish. Alright? The Apostle Paul would got a mandate to turn. From the power of Satan unto the Most High. Let's see if I could have a reading that in Acts the other day. No? Right, Acts 26 and 18. Right, <clears throat> I read it from. This is the Apostle Paul reiterating the story um, what happened to him when our Lord Yahweh Shai came to him and converted him into the belief of him in faith show him the better way the apostle Paul was on a high level a lot of people can't even understand the scriptures up to today think about that 2000 years down there and people still can't understand what the man was saying for those who understand the heavenly father give you the holy spirit to understand and you go in with the context of the scriptures the lord give you the holy spirit to understand acts 26 and 15 and i said who are thou lord and he said i am your house shy whom thou persecutest but rise and stand upon thy feet for i have appeared unto thee for this purpose to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen and of those things in which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto the Mosai that they may receive forgiveness of sins and 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 inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me 
And here were the apostles say, whereupon, O King Agrippa, he was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision. He said, I didn't disobey, I, I obeyed. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. So, you see, turn them from the power of Satan. If you being turned from the power of Satan unto the Mosai. Now that we have faith in the Lord, we can move mountains. Alright? And we, hey, <laughs> hey, spiritually, we, we, we move in this man mountain, this government set up, we move in it. Breaking it the fuck down. Just a few prophecies again to go. If I might go trip the World War Three. I'll do some videos on that. And then our Lord returning to destroy the wicked and, and deliver the elect. You know? So that <coughs> I like to say this once again that the Heavenly Father is not coming back to deliver all mankind. All mankind in making it, virgin. <laughs> all mankind? Now. Lord coming back to deliver the elect of his people, which is Israel. You can read that in Revelation 7. The 144,000, 12,000 from the tribe of Judah, 12,000 from the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 from the tribe of Joseph, which is Ephraim, 12,000 from the tribe of God, 12,000 from the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 from the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 from the tribe of Asher, 12,000 from the tribe of um, Zebulon, 12,000 from the tribe of Levi, so forth and so on. You can see 12,000 from the tribe of Ephraim, um, Edom, Salah. You can see 12,000 from the tribe of Edom, because they're not included. You can see 12,000 from the tribe of Moab. Them not included. You can see 12,000 from the tribe of Ammon. They not included. 12,000 from the tribe of Ishmael. They not included. Only the Hebrew Israelites. Okay. So we have to watch for these prophecies. Because we want to be in the kingdom of heaven and do the works. You know, do the work of the heavenly father. All right, and be sincere in everything. So, you know, with that, I will give all praises on and glory. Say how about Shami or Shai, Bahasham or Kakwadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. To men getting delivered from the power of darkness. Kill out title if you do Yeah. Alright, well, shallow arm to the elect. Shallow arm. Hopefully, you've been edified. Shallow arm.